Now to a CBS New York investigation. Imagine being forced out of your home with only minutes to pack up your stuff. It happened to a Brooklyn family after city inspectors say they found safety violations at a nearby construction site. Tonight that family still can't go home and they're afraid of what's next. Our invest investigator Masa Saidi found this could happen to anyone. It's like I don't matter. No one's speaking to me, telling me what was my right. We met Yvonne Bellardo in front of her three-story home in Bushwick, Brooklyn. A week before, without warning, firefighters told her to get out. City inspectors had discovered the building next door was unstable and had to be demolished. On scene, we saw that neighbor's property manager, city officials, and a demolition company. When this house goes down, you want to make sure your house is protected. Exactly. Exactly. I understand there's nothing that can be done about saving that home, but then why don't you do all you can to make sure you save my home because I had nothing to do with the accident. The accident had happened at a construction site two doors down. According to the Department of Buildings, the contractor dug too deep, contrary to approved documents, catastrophically damaging the neighbor's home. DOB stopped work on the site, and although the neighbor had done nothing wrong, it was now their responsibility to take down their own building. But what about Bellardo next door? Speaking to us next to the tree her parents planted in the 1960s, she says she feels forgotten. This house is my legacy to leave for my family. My children were born here, my grandchildren were born here, so this house means more to us than anything. It's not just a house to me anymore. It's our history. I don't know where to go to, who to turn to. I don't know what agency I should be talking to. I'm devastated. Bellardo's daughter, Crystal Rodriguez, lived in the building, too. She wants to know if it should be shored up, and if so, when, and who's supposed to pay for it? Questions raised by three generations of this family who, until now, all live together under one roof. A house doesn't make our family. You know, we make our family, but it's just, it's not really, it's, I just don't think it's fair. The house next door is going to be taken down imminently. We immediately called DOB to see what's being done to protect this family's home. A spokesperson tells me they're not ordering Bellardo to shore up her building, but they are requiring the neighbor to have a professional engineer on site to direct and supervise the demolition. Now, the family waits. It's also unfortunate because it happens not just to us, but to a lot of other families. This house right here uh, with a family who's been here for decades was forced out and now has to live in a hotel. And Fort Green, same problem, different contractor. City inspectors found the contractor did work contrary to DOB approved plans, causing a partial collapse of a load bearing shared wall. Now, two months after that incident, both buildings are still vacated and neighbors are outraged. These buildings could have toppled. DOB records show the Fort Greene contractor had prior safety violations. We called and emailed both contractors in the story for comment and haven't heard back yet. Meantime, the DOB says when contractors cut corners, the department uses all tools at our disposal to hold these bad actors accountable. And while DOB can stop work on a site, the agency doesn't have the legal authority to prevent a contractor from working on a different site, no matter how many violations they rack up. They just write it off as the cost of doing business. And the contractors have their contact information listed on DOB's website. Again, our repeated calls and emails have gone unanswered. Now, Dick, I should mention that these are open cases. The contractors will have the opportunity to go before a civil court, and the judge could rule in their favor and dismiss DOB's complaints. We'll just have to wait and see. Wait, just like that family. Seeing them sitting there on the steps is just heartbreaking. So what is the latest on the demolition? The family believes it's going to happen tonight. It's not like the movies where they push a button and boom. It's yes, like a slow, never, right? controlled process. Process, which is a good thing. Now, does the DOB actually think there is a problem? So I'll start with the good news. They have been pushing to educate contractors in the past few years. They tell me they are seeing fewer stop work orders. But as you saw in the story, contractors can rack up violations and work might stop at this site, but they can go to 10, 20, 30 other sites and keep on doing what they're doing. So DOB wants to talk with lawmakers to see if there's anything that can be done to increase accountability here. And of course, we know you will stay on this to get some help with that family.
Great work. Thank you, Masa. We appreciate it. And uh, if there's anything, something you want Masa, we can tell you, to work on, email her at cbsnyinvestigates at cbs.com or call that number, 646-939-6095.